quick project today. I'm building a leverage doubler wrench extender. So when you've got those stubborn, stubborn bolts, you've got double the leverage. Keep watching, show you how I did it. So let's make a wrench extension, kind of like a cheater bar, just a little bit more refined. Uh, we've all used a pipe, stuck it over a breaker bar, a ratchet or something to that effect. Um, the problem is, is everybody's ran into this problem when they can do it on a wrench. Even a small 9 16 you know, my typical bar, I have a whole bunch of bars. Hey, you know, I have pipes that are up to about two and a half inches. And that's what you need for a wrench like this. The issue is, it's kind of sloppy, you know. It's, you can see the wrench even in here kind of wants to roll around. Uh, we've also all used this method, and this is debatable whether this is even a good method because that can kind of be sloppy and you, you can slip off, off if you're using a lot of torque. You know, and you could possibly, I never have deformed the box end. You could damage the, uh, you know, the open end. Never have. I've done that thousands of times, literally. But I was under the vehicle the other day, and I was thinking, there has to be a better way. Let's make something more refined. So this is what I came up with. I did look online. There are companies that sell something similar. They're not the cheapest things, but they're also not that expensive. So I'll put a link to what I found. But I figured, so simple, I could build it. I wanted to fit... A wide variety of wrenches down to about a half inch up to about an inch or that's up to about 21 millimeters down to uh, 12 millimeters or so what we're gonna do I found this I was actually looking for a quarter inch but I think this will suffice this is a piece of 3 16 inch and a quarter just flat bar and ended up being about 18 inches long and I think that's that'll suffice it's what it's gonna do is it's going to hold on just to the handle part of the wrench and go about there and I bet roughly double your torque so if it was gonna you know take 100 pounds to foot pounds to release something now it's only going to take 50 and so i just wanted to fit on this variety of wrenches pretty basic you just need the wrench to sit on there and you just need a peg on each side just to keep you know just so you can move it and this moves with the wrench but also i'm going to use this piece of angle iron it's going to be nice to have something kind of overlapping the top so the wrench doesn't want to jump out. So, pretty simple. I'm just going to cut off two little pieces of this. Uh, this is an uh, inch by inch angle iron. Essentially, this is going to weld here. This is going to weld here. And the angles just allow you to slide the wrench out easier. We can keep them closer. But now, I just need to cut this little leg off. So it fits tighter against there. I'm actually gonna weld it up on this surface like that, but I, I don't need all that slop. So I got these two pieces all smoothed out. This one is actually a little bit um, thinner, closer to there, because the uh, the logo, the uh, protrusion on my particular wrenches, it'll hit there, so it'll sit on top of that, but this piece is just a little bit thinner. And so I just wanna keep it as close as possible and so they'll just sit like that. And then I rounded out this corner right here because all the wrenches kind of round out. So that will kind of help on some of these smaller ones, especially like this half inch. It'll just help locate it so it doesn't really want to slip slip out. It kind of it gives it it gives it a uh, a ridge. Whether that does anything, I don't know. So here we got a large 15 16 fastener and you put that on there break it loose a lot of times it's nice just to use leverage so you don't risk the uh you don't risk busting your knuckles that came off like effortless want to snug it up really want to snug it up you can bam takes half the force you know i'm about double the distance out from where i'd be holding it with my hand i'd be holding right here i want to be holding i'd be holding right here so I can put twice the force on, twice the torque on with half the effort, and half the effort to actually remove a fastener. So exactly what I wanted. Without any, see, I got, I got complete control of that wrench. Exactly where it is with the the with my hand. Unlike if I was doing the method of flopping it like this. I don't have any control of this wrench down here and I can actually pull it and round off the fastener. 
Threw some red paint on her. It's looking good. They really need to invent the uh, the chrome at home kit so you can chrome your own stuff. Uh, monkey wrench seems to fit just fine. And for you guys across the pond, even a metric spanner will work. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, for you guys that don't have welders and stuff like that, I know a lot of my viewers don't. I'll put links below to the uh, the ones I found online. Um, there are, there's actually some pretty cool options out there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys soon. Bye.